Hey everyone, Joyous Knight here. We're getting some amazing news in Warframe. Remember the Game Awards tomorrow for the free Sevagoth? There's a ton of news. They're talking about Tenocon 2024. The dude, Ben Starr, voices Arthur Excalibur. He was Clive for Final Fantasy 16. Love it, great voice actor. Even the first Descendant is going to have news at the Game Awards tomorrow. So I wanted to talk about all this before night, I guess, before tomorrow. So, if you didn't know, Whispers in the Wall, December 7th drop at, you know, uh, the Game Awards. They're talking about the release date of Whispers in the Wall. That is what they're dropping, as well as info on it. And we get a free Sevagoth, okay? They are not releasing Whispers in the Wall December 7th. And if they do, everything's on fire, but most likely they're releasing it on Friday. Maybe Wednesday, but definitely could be Friday. So stay tuned tomorrow, 7.30 p.m. ET. That's like approximately 21 hours after the upload of this video, approximately. So we have gotten confirmation for Tenocon 2024, everybody. Tenocon is now two days instead of one day, and it now takes place July 19th and 20th instead of August. If you didn't know, I went to Tenocon in 2023 this year. It was a fun time, took a lot of pictures, took a look at a lot of things, got to see the really cool uh, MOAs and like robots at uh, Hacksmith, Techsmith made? I think it's Hacksmith. So either way, really cool. I don't think I'm gonna go in like 2024, 2025. It's just, I feel like I've seen anything and unless there's a reason for me to go it's like I've gone before now and you know it's expensive right so probably not gonna be going for another handful of years the bank account says no and uh, you know it is what it is but if anyone does go it's a fun time it's a convention you know a lot of lines the thing that I hate about conventions the most which is why I don't go to them it's like 50% lines right you walk through little art area you get to seal a lot of the 3d models but I just hate lines, so I'm not a huge convention person, but I like to say hi to people, at least, and, you know, a handful of people could spot me out of the crowd and say hi, so that was fun. I'm just a socially awkward human being, and pretty broke, because it costs a lot to go there. It was like two grand for the flights and hotel, Canadian, for, like, me and my wife. It's, it's just not worth it right now, you know? Everything's expensive, housing market in Canada is crazy, right? What are we gonna do? Now, Ben Starr, a th I'm thrilled to announce that I'm play the enigmatic Arthur, we're calling him Arthur Excalibur, because he's Arthur Excalibur, right? He's an Excal. In Warframe 1999, more to come soon. So if you don't know who Ben Starr is, he voices Final Fantasy 16 Clive Rossfield. Great game, I'm almost done it like 70% of the way through, but oh, so I love him as a voice actor, he has a good voice, I like what he sounds like, and it, clearly it's gonna make just Arthur that much more of a badass, so all for it, excited, really jazzed, and it looks like everyone else is pretty excited too. Oh, there's Warframe. Yeah, everyone's excited, right? So 10 out of 10 there. It's true, we're beyond excited to have the one and only Ben Starr playing Arthur in Warframe 1999 next year, right? So jazzed. I had no idea he plays Joseph Joestar, Jojo, Joseph of Jojo's Bizarre Advancer. I just know him as Clive Rothfield, but I mean, I think everyone's pretty excited. Everyone's like, look at this. <laughs> Protagonist character's named Arthur, my dude. He's an Excalibur. He's Arthur Excalibur. Of course. He's gonna be a good Excalibur voice actor. Can't wait. Now, the first Descendant is also announcing at the Game Awards 2023. What are they announcing? They're going to be announcing the release date for the first Descendant. Without a doubt, there's nothing else they have to announce. They've had their beta. The next step is release date. Originally, I think they wanted to release 2023 by December or earlier, but it got pushed back, maybe like last year. But everything got pushed back because they needed more work to do, you know, on the game. They needed to fix things up. The game had, I believe, some performance issues, all things considered as well. But the first Ascendant is going to be announced at the Game Awards. I'm so happy, you know. I was scrolling on Twitter, so I was lucky enough to just see it anyways. You know, uh, Banshee, local Gilly Chap enthusiast, also tweeted at me, You're like, ah, oh, we can't wait. I think a lot of us Warframe folk were going ham on this game because it's a Warframe-like game. It's Warframe, right? It is a Warframe game, much like Duet Night Abyss, the seemingly anime gotcha game will be, right? So that's sweet. Reb Ford right now is even hanging out with, let's see, Neil Newbon and the Ben Star. Ben Star to talk about update stuff. So Neil Newbon, okay, actor, director, PCAP, VO artist, 
does a lot of stuff. Ben Starr, voice actor. What is he joining? Part of this, congrats. Okay, okay. On my way to support my work. I don't know his exact role. I'm just kind of curious, but that's okay. No worries there. So, Whispers in the Wall is coming. 1999 is coming in due time. And they're just teasing. This this is, we're not in Whispers in the Walls right now. We're in teases in the Walls right now. They keep teasing everything, okay? So, that's, that's what today and Thursday is. It is Warframe teases in the Walls time. So, 10 out of 10. And if you want to look at just general Game Awards stuff, there's a lot going on so you can check out the game awards twitter right it's coming in around yeah around 21 hours from i release this video 7 30 et 12 38 gmt 4 30 p pt right these are december 7th okay north america december 7th all things considered so remember to do your time conversions i just had so many people on stream ask me did i miss the whisper the whisper of the wall game awards did i miss the free sevagoth when's the free sevagoth you have to take a look at the times. You have to convert time zones yourself. If not, you're screwed because uh, no one can hold your hands that hard. You have to get used to time zones and different time zones and converting them because that's how it works. And for a lot of North American version stuff, you got to get used to North American time zones and conversions. And when I play Genshin, I got to get used to a lot of uh, SEA type conversions in time zones. So, oh my, there is so many things that's going on. It's like, oh my God, I love it. It's like everything's happening at once. There's so many, so many different announcements going on. I love it, right? We're getting Fibonacci sequencing, okay? Because, uh, you know, Fibonacci's a new name that we haven't heard for a Warframe. Can't wait to see who it is. Wait, did they, did they say f next Warframe Fibonacci? Learn more about Fibonacci and Arthur soon. Oh shit, you're right. I didn't even notice that. I didn't even think about that. Is Fibonacci not Arthur Excalibur, but is Fibonacci the fish? Is that a super gilly chap? Is that what we're looking at right here? Or is Fibonacci the new war, a new Warframe? Oh God, I didn't even notice that. I thought it was re referencing the uh, Fibonacci sequence. It probably is. Ah, okay. No, Banshee, God damn it. Ah, I didn't even notice that. Oh god, dude, what is happening? All of the pre-announcements for the Game Awards is like so much more than what we might get at the Game Awards. We're getting so many teases all at once. What is going on? Ah, it's just pure chaos, man. My mind is slightly melted. My plan for tomorrow, if you don't know, I'm gonna be up really early, because I have to take my wife to the hospital. She's getting a tonsillectomy, or like they're cutting her tonsils out and getting a turbinectomy, like which is opening up and cutting open her like airways with her nose, right? I will be live hours before the Game Awards goes li go live. You can get drops on my stream or anyone else co-streaming it. But I will be live as soon as I can to hype everything up and to get everyone ready so that hopefully nobody misses out. How the drops work though is remember 30 minutes, okay, on uh, to, to, to the stream Game Awards or watching anyone, okay, 30 minutes. You have to remember to claim it and then you should be good to go. If there are any issues, as long as you've claimed it, you can relink it and check to make sure and relink it to the proper email. But you know, that's just kind of how that is. So huge amount of game news right now. And my brain is slightly breaking. I didn't expect this much news at, it's nine o'clock PM ET right now. That's like, that's 22 hours or so before the Game Awards is happening. And they're just dropping all of the teases like Warframe, DE, uh, to the Game Awards themselves, I love it. Ben Starr, we have the first Descendant. They're definitely announcing release date for free to play. Like, ah, uh, I love it. I can't wait, I'm super jazzed. And this is kind of what I've been waiting on for all day. Everyone who's been asking me, did I miss the Game Awards? No, not yet, okay? Did you get the Sevagoth, miss that yet? No, not yet, tomorrow, you got another 20 hours or so, okay? So just make sure to keep in mind time zones, they're a pain for people uh, across the world, SEA and like over the uh, ocean away from North America, a lot of that's gonna take place in like the middle of the night for them or like during school or work. And you know, that sucks, but time zones and life goes on, right? That's how it'd be. Can't just stop and do, I guess, one thing for 24 hours, cause that'd be too crazy. So yeah, it's awesome, I'm happy. And then we have Warframe drops on Friday where Whispers in the Wall might be announced. So I'm gonna get no sleep this week and it's gonna be one of the better weeks or months in 
Warframe history, hopefully. So thank you all for being here, subbing, liking. If you ever want to support the channel, use Epic Games creator code Pupsker, or just check out any of the social medias if you want to, because uh, it all helps at the end of the day. Being an online human is very weird, and I don't quite know what I'm doing with myself, as are, I probably assume, most of us. <laughs> uh, but I'm excited, so can't wait. See you guys there, and hopefully it all goes well, right? Cheers.